In this problem, we're actually given two points on a line and the slope of the line, and we're asked to find the value of y. So it's a little bit uh, backwards. So we'll start maybe by writing down the formula for the slope. So m is equal to, well, basically you subtract the y's, so y2 minus y1. Then you divide, and then you subtract the x's, so x2 minus x1. Okay, so now we're just carefully going to plug uh, everything into this formula. So m is equal to 1 third, so this is 1 over 3. That's equal to, and I guess we should label things. I didn't do that, so let's do that. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2, there we go. So in the numerator, it's y2 minus y1. So negative 4 minus y. So negative 4 minus y, right? y2 minus y1. In the denominator, it's x2 minus x1. So it's 4 minus negative 2. So 4 minus, and then parentheses, negative 2. All right, let's keep going. So this is 1 over 3 equals negative 4 minus y over, and then um, this is really 4 plus 2 because it turns into a plus because there's two negatives, so it's 6. I think maybe now we can get rid of this fraction by just multiplying both sides by 6. So times 6 and then times 6. This goes away. 6 times 1 third is just going to give us 2. And so this is equal to negative 4 minus y. All right, we're looking for y, so now we can add the positive 4 to both sides. That gives us 6 equals negative y. And then lastly, uh, we can just divide by negative 1 to get rid of the negative sign. So we end up with y equals negative 6, and we have successfully found y. Kind of an interesting uh, problem. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who's trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.